Good morning. It's time once again for our morning prayer and devotion on this Tuesday morning. And I welcome each of you to this important time that we are blessed to be able to engage in together. In our praise reports this morning, Carmen is thankful to have been passed up by the full attack of the stomach virus. She did not have to miss any work. And John Vaughn was tested for COVID and was negative, so we're thankful for that good report. And on a personal note this morning, I'm thankful to be feeling much, much better. I did receive the news yesterday afternoon that I tested positive for COVID, but by the time the test results uh, came back, I had already turned the corner, and mine has proven to be a very mild case. And today is actually, based on the onset of my symptoms, the health department determined that today would be my actual last day of quarantine. I'm going to stay in a few extra days just to be on the safe side, uh, but I am so thankful that uh, things have uh, turned out as well as they have for me. In our prayer request this morning, Brother Scott Armstrong, uh, pastor of Solid Rock Church in Fenton, had a bicycle accident yesterday morning and is in serious condition. He was found in a ravine in a local park with his bike on top of him, and he is in serious condition with four broken teeth and a brain bleed. So let's remember Brother Scott Armstrong, his family, and their congregation today. Terry Adams' daughter-in-law is having exploratory surgery. She has a lot of health issues, and they're not sure what they're looking for. Let's keep her in our prayers. Tammy Lawson will be traveling to Memphis tonight to have surgery on her back tomorrow morning. Rob Durr is facing surgery on the 21st. Uh, Carmen requests prayer for Janae's mom, who is COVID positive and was taken to the ER yesterday with difficulty breathing. There were 23 new cases of COVID in Stoddard County reported yesterday with nine recoveries. And we are now at 94 active cases uh, in Stoddard County. There's also been a death of a resident at a Stoddard County nursing home due to COVID, which now brings a total to 11 deaths in our county attributed to COVID. So let's remember that family in our prayers today as well. Uh, my father, Ron Bryant, was tested for COVID yesterday. We we're asking for prayers that uh, his results would come back negative and that God would uh, protect him as my mother has tested positive. Um, my brother-in-law and sister um, tested positive, as well as um, Ben's brother, Bill Ramey, um, Frank Day, my wife's brother tested positive, Rebecca Mitchell, Tara Vaughn, and these are just uh, in our own congregation, people that tested positive with the exception of Bill, who um, was just uh, someone that was visiting with family and we found out that he was positive as well. Cedric Austin um, has been admitted to the hospital with pneumonia attributed to COVID infection. Brother Steve Piles in Illinois is battling COVID. Phil Stokes, Brother Stan Cook and his wife Cheryl, Court Chavis, Sarah Isaac, Pastor Mickey Lewis and his wife, Brother Kevin Prince, Brother Mike Carter, Robert, Pam Bunch and her family, Hallie and Rand, uh, Susan Bright, Leland Marshall, Steve Cummins, and family. And I might also mention uh, that Samantha Minich also tested positive for COVID, uh, but her case was uh, much like mine, and uh, she is already uh, over it pretty much by the time her results have come back. So let's continue to pray for all these who are, who are dealing with uh, COVID, and of course here in my own household, there's additional 14-day quarantine on um, my family members um, that they need to self-isolate and monitor for symptoms. We're praying that they don't develop anything themselves. We want to continue praying for our president and his administration and congressional leaders. Let's pray for full and complete economic recovery. We want to continue to pray for nursing home residents and shut-ins protection for children who are returning to school, um, or who have returned to school. Uh, I saw that Brother Mike Hodge posted this morning that 
There are 15 bus drivers and aides in the Poplar Bluff School District who are out currently due to COVID exposure. So let's continue praying for our students, our teachers, our school bus drivers, and other staff. Let's pray against unrest and division in our nation. Physical needs today, James Pearson has high blood pressure, Robbie Northrup, COPD. Renee has extreme pain and limited mobility due to her hip and knee problems. Leslie Pride needs a healing touch. Abel Ray needs healing of PKU disorder. Rick House needs healing of type 2 diabetes and heart murmur. Phil and Karen Sampson and family, we're praying for healing for Caitlin and for God to move in their family issues. Phyllis Robinette suffers with macular degeneration. Elder brother and sister Perkins need continued prayers for healing, strength, and encouragement. Uh, my father, mother-in-law, and Russ and Tim are all battling with Parkinson's disease. Michael Parrott is still needing healing of Crohn's disease. Rue is dealing with organ rejection issues off and on and has been in and out of the hospital. Let's continue to remember him today. Emily Stanley has diabetes. Terry Adams. I, IBS, Terry Adams' grandson, Ethan, needs healing. Bill Eldreth has myasthenia gravis and some other health issues. Kendra and Renata Ortiz need prayers for health issues. Those who are battling cancer, Ari Bowers, Robert Wicks, Kim Stinson, Wanda Barnes, Brother Steve Williford, Brother Anthony Trimble, Jamie Dixon, Tara's friend Beverly, Deb Clydens, Linda Fox, David Harris, Lorelei, Caden, Jenna, and Tucker, Kim Gladden, Josh Soberg, Michael Bolin, Evelyn Marshall, Delbert Bryant, Diane Escher, Dwayne Lewis, and a friend of Terry Adams. We continue to pray for a continued recovery that is ongoing for Cody Robinette, Johnny Ray Hagee, Sylvia Larimore's daughter, Gerald Yealy, Nick Cersei, Brandy Bryant, Dwayne Rogers' mother-in-law, Brandon Jolly, Leslie Cooper, Donna Reedy, Steve Skates, Brantley, Adrian Neely, and Ethan Harville. In our spiritual needs this morning, let's continue to remember Lori Arbo's mother, Sylvia's family, Josiah, Peggy Fiedler's children, uh, Connor, Haley, Evie, Rose, and Carl, teenagers who need salvation, Jamie Dixon for salvation, Pam Pulliam's children, Terry Adams' children, Jennifer and Brenda's family, Carmen's daughter Grace, Mark and Caitlin, Art Chandler, Debbie Biddick's daughter Jamie and family, also Debbie's niece, Judy and Mike Williams' daughter Jennifer, Marsha Moore's children and granddaughter, Beulah's family, Tasha Ray's husband um, and her sister as well. And we received a good report. I would just mention it uh, wasn't posted on our uh, prayer requests, but or prayers reports, but it was posted by Sister Marcia on her page yesterday. A good report about her son, um, who's been admitted to rehab of his own volition, and we're seeing things go in the right direction with that situation. So we're so thankful for that. Matt and Michaela Perkins are trying to start a family. Let's continue to remember them. Pray for those who are struggling with mental health issues during this time. Let's pray for Sally Waller's daughters. She has two daughters who are both expecting right now. We're praying for safe pregnancies and deliveries for them. And then Cheryl Lachance has a friend who is a recovering alcoholic and has recently relapsed. We want to remember all these needs this morning as we go to the Lord in prayer. Good to see Mom and Dad with us this morning. Carmen, good to see you. Pam and Marcia, God bless each and one of you. Beulah. Sister Sample, so good to see you this morning. Um, Judy and Mike, Bill Eldreth, good to have all of you with us this morning, joining us for morning prayer and devotion. And today I'm going to begin sharing with you a devotion that comes from my own private devotional time. Um, and I've shared some of these with you in the past that come, uh, that are provided on the Version Bible app. And this is one that particularly stood out to me uh, during this time, uh, especially in my own life, uh, the past couple of weeks have been quite a bit of uncertainty for uh, our church. And um, as we were finally hit with the coronavirus ourselves, 
and had been spared completely up to this point, uh, but now finding ourselves dealing with our church uh, shut down, not by mandate of, uh, of the government shutting everyone down as they did back in um, March and April, but, um, but just because we have cases here in our local church. And so I was reading Joshua chapter 1, verse 6. It says, Be strong and courageous, for you are the one who will lead these people to possess all the land I swore to their ancestors I would give them. Think of Joshua as he prepared to lead the Israelites into Canaan, a place that was overrun by their enemies. Although God promised them this land, the journey to obtain the promise was long, hard, and filled with uncertainty. And perhaps that's why God reminded Joshua, just as I was with Moses, he said, I will be with you and I will not leave you or forsake you. Be strong and courageous. God knew Joshua's secret concerns and so he spoke to the fear in Joshua's heart. And the same God who encouraged Joshua also wants to encourage us he understands how easily fear and anxiety can paralyze anyone forced out of their comfort zones and into circumstances beyond their control. Thankfully, no matter how uncertain you may feel, the outcome of every situation is known to God. And God promises to never leave or forsake those who draw near to him. His children are never alone. And you need to realize today, whatever that you're going through, that you are not alone and your future is held in his hands. And so how do we deal with this uncertainty that we are experiencing? Well, we acknowledge our limitations, we lay down our expectations, and we pick up God's declarations. And over the next four days, we're going to take a closer look at these steps and discover how to incorporate them into our daily lives. Let's go to prayer this morning and let's give our uncertainties to God, believing and trusting in him that he's going to take care of all the needs that we're dealing with in our lives today. Lord Jesus, I thank you for this day. This is the day that you have made, Lord, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. I'm not going to worry and fret over the things that I cannot control I'm going to place every uncertainty in your hands today, knowing, God, that you're in control, knowing, Lord, that you're not facing the uncertainty that I'm facing today. There's no situation, Lord, that you're backing up from and reassessing. You already have a plan, and you already know what to do, God, and you're moving in our lives. I give you thanks and praise for all that you're doing. You are the mighty God. Hallelujah. You are on your throne today. You are high and lifted up with your train filling the temple. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I give you glory and praise, O oh God. You are worthy of it this morning. You are worthy of all of our sacrifice and offering. And you're taking care of us today. We give you thanks, Lord. We give you praise. And we submit to your will this morning, praying your will be done. Praying your kingdom come in earth as it is in heaven today, let it be done, Lord, all these needs according to your will. We trust in you to give us this day our daily bread. We give no thought for tomorrow, Lord, knowing that you're taking care of us, Lord, knowing that you are in control of everything that we're facing right now. And so we submit these needs to you willfully today and with confidence, Lord, believing for you to touch Brother Armstrong this morning, Lord, minister healing to his body in Jesus' name. Let that bleed on his brain stop. Lord, let his injuries begin to mend today in Jesus' name. We pray for Terry's daughter, Lord, facing exploratory surgery. We pray, God, your guidance upon that surgeon, Lord, and, and they would be able to find what the issue is. We pray for Tammy Lawson, Lord, as she travels to Memphis tonight and prepares for surgery in the morning. Lord, be with her Comfort and strengthen her heart. Let her be of good courage, God, and have confidence going into this procedure. In Jesus' name, we pray for Rob Durr, Lord, that you would be with him facing surgery coming up this uh, later this month. We pray for Janae's mom, Lord, who just found out she's COVID positive and was taken to the ER with difficulty breathing. 
We pray against the 23 new cases of COVID in our county. But we thank you for the nine recoveries that were confirmed yesterday. But we pray against every active case in our county, all 94 of them, believing that all will be restored in Jesus' name. We pray, God, for this family of the uh, nursing home resident who passed away with COVID this week. But we pray, God, that you would comfort their hearts, uh, that you would be with them during this time. We pray, Lord, for my dad today, God, that you would protect him or that his result would come back negative. In Jesus' name, we pray for Ben and Star and for Bill and for my mother, Lord, for Frank and for Rebecca Mitchell, God. We pray that you would touch them, Lord, that they would recover fully. We pray for Tara, God, that her recovery would go very smoothly. We pray, God, for Cedric today, God, Brother Cedric Austin in the hospital. We pray, God, that you would strengthen him, God. Lord, give him something today from your word to strengthen and encourage him. Hallelujah. Touch his body, Lord. Let that pneumonia begin to clear out. In Jesus' name, we pray for Brother Steve Piles and Brother Phil Stokes, and for Brother Stan Cook and his wife, Lord. Hallelujah. As they're recovering today, we believe for your complete healing, for Court Chavis and for Sarah Isaac, for Pastor Mickey Lewis and his wife, for Brother Kevin Prince and for Mike Carter, for Robert and for Pam Bunch and her family members, for Susan Bright and for Velan Marshall. In Jesus' name, for Steve Cummins and his family, God, we believe for complete healing today from all effects of COVID. In Jesus' name, we pray for our president and for our vice president, for their administration, Lord, for our Congress, for our leaders in state and local government today. In Jesus' name, God, give them direction and solutions and help them, God, somehow to come together and work together for the sake of the people of this country. In Jesus' name, we pray for your direction in our upcoming election, Lord. Hallelujah. Let America make wise choices in our uh, congressional and presidential races, Lord, and right down to the local level. We pray for complete economic recovery in our land. We pray, God, for all the nursing home residents uh, that are shut in today, God, that you would be with them and strengthen and encourage them. We pray, God, that all cases in our local nursing homes would begin to recover from COVID right now in Jesus' name. We pray for those bus drivers and, and staff members and teachers, Lord, that are working in our schools today. We pray for the children, Lord, that they would be safe in Jesus' name. We pray against the unrest and division and the violence and the looting that's going on in our country. In Jesus' name, we believe, God, for healing for our land as we humble ourselves and seek your face. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We pray, God, for all these physical needs today. You see James Pearson and Robbie Northrup. You see Renee. You see Leslie Pride, God. We speak healing right now for their bodies. Hallelujah. You see Abel Ray and Rick House, Phil and Karen Sampson and their family. Phyllis Robinette, uh, God, touch them right now and minister healing to their different conditions today. We believe, God, for uh, Elder Brother and Sister Perkins, that they'll receive the strength and encouragement that they need this morning, that they'll receive healing for their bodies today. In Jesus' name, we pray against Parkinson's. Uh, Lord, touch my father and my mother-in-law today. Touch Russ, Lord. Touch Tim, God. Reverse those effects uh, of Parkinson's that they're experiencing right now. We pray against Crohn's disease for Michael Parrott. We pray, Lord, for Rue today, God, that he would do well with his uh, organ rejection problems that he's been experiencing, that his body would accept uh, uh, every tissue, God, that's been transplanted in Jesus' name. We pray, God, for Emily Stanley, for Terry Adams, for her grandson, for Bill Eldred today, and for Kendra and Renato, Lord. You have them in the palm of your hand, and you know situation today, God, and we believe that your healing virtue is flowing right now. In Jesus' name, we give you thanks, Lord, for touching them. We commit, Lord, these uh, who are battling cancer into your hand today. Lord, touch Ari Bowers and Robert uh, Wicks today. Touch Kim Stinson and Wanda Barnes, uh, Brother Steve Williford and Brother Anthony Trimble, Lord. We pray for Jamie Dixon and for Beverly and for Deb Clydens. Uh, 
We pray for Linda Fox and for David Harris. We lift up Lorla and Caden and Jenna and Tucker. Lord, these children need your touch today. We pray for Kim Gladden and Josh Soberg. We lift up Michael Boland today and Delbert Bryant, Lord, believing for their healing this morning. We pray, God, for uh, my Aunt Evelyn Marshall, Lord, touch her today. We pray for Diane Escher and for Dwayne Lewis and for Terry Adams' friend. Lord, you're the healer of all of our diseases, and we choose to place our trust in you today, God. We believe you for healing. We pray, God, for continued recovery for Cody Robinette, for Johnny Ray Hagee, for Sylvia's daughter, for Gerald Ely, for Nick Cersei, and for Brandy Bryant. We believe for Dwayne Rogers' mother-in-law, for Brandon Jolly, for Leslie Cooper, for Donna Reedy, for Steve Skates, for Brantley, and for Adrian, and for Ethan. We thank you, Lord, for the progress that each of these have experienced, Lord, as they've begun to recover, and they're in somewhere in that process today. We believe you for the completion of the work in Jesus' name. We pray for Matt and Michaela today, trying to start their family, Lord. We pray for those who are struggling with their mental health during this time. We pray, God, for Sally's daughters today, Lord, that their pregnancies would be safe and they would deliver healthy children in Jesus' name. We pray, God, for Cheryl's friend today who's relapsed uh, with her alcoholism. God, we believe for your deliverance for her today in the mighty name of Jesus. We lay all of our spiritual needs at your feet today. These family members that are backsliders, that are away from you, that don't know you, God, or need direction in their lives spiritually, we lift them up to you. Lori Arbo's mother, Sylvia's family members today, God. Josiah, Peggy Fiedler's children, Connor, Haley, Evie, Rose, and Carl. Lord, we believe for these teenagers, Lord, to be saved today. We believe for Jamie Dixon's salvation. We believe for Pam Pulliam's children. You see Randy, Bobby, Jenny, and Joe today, God. You know all about them. We pray that you would deal with their hearts, God, and draw them by your spirit. We pray for Terry Adams' children, for Jennifer and Brenda's family, that revival would continue there today. We pray for Carmen's daughter, Grace, Lord, that she would be surrounded by godly influence, and that she would go the right direction in her life. We pray for Mark and Caitlin. We lift up Art Chandler this morning, Lord, believing that you're dealing with his heart. We pray for Debbie Biddick's daughter, Jamie, and her family. We pray for Debbie's niece today, God. We pray for Judy and Mike Williams' daughter, Jennifer. Lord, you're dealing with her heart today, and we know, God, that she's going to return to you. We pray for Marcia Moore's children and her granddaughter. We thank you for what you're doing in Josh's life. We believe you for Zach today, God. We thank you for what you're doing for Brittany and Victor, Lord, in their ministry today. We pray for Addie, God, moving her life and strengthening her today. We pray for Beulah's family, Lord. We pray for Tasha Ray's husband, Adam, and for her sister, Heather. Lord, we bring these needs to you today, God, with full confidence, knowing, Lord, that you are on the throne. Hallelujah. This is your kingdom. This is your power. This is your glory. It all belongs to you, Lord. We are your people today. We belong to you. And we place our trust solidly, Lord, in your work in our lives. We give you thanks and praise for every strike that you took for our healing, for taking the chastisement of our peace upon you, for forgiving us of our transgressions and iniquities, Lord, for taking it all upon yourself to Calvary's cross. And we thank you, Lord, for the power of the Holy Ghost that's working in our lives today. Lead us through this day, God. Guide us and direct us, each and every one, Lord, and help us, God, to be a positive influence on someone around us today that has a need in their life. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Thank you for being a part of this time of prayer and devotion this morning. I look forward to tomorrow morning, hump day, Wednesday, very important day for us as we come together, amen, to uh, get through the rest of the week together and believe God for all the needs that are uh, going on that we're facing in our lives. I will see you tomorrow morning at 7.30. God bless you in Jesus' precious name.